Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to be looking at the jQuery ID selector and selecting elements by their ID. So let's go ahead and first of all create an element on our page. I've already got selectors.js um, attached to my page or included in my page, and we're going to be writing some code in here to return a value from a, from a particular element by its ID. So let's go ahead and uh, create for example an input field and this is going to be type of text and we're going to give this an ID of name okay so now that we have this we want to reference this by name we've given it uh, the ID of name therefore we can uniquely reference this as an ID so inside selectors we're going to want to um, well let's just first of all put in here a value of um, hello so when we refresh our page you can see that we've just got hello inside of a uh, text area field okay so now inside selectors.js if we want to reference uh, or refer to this field we can refer to it by its unique name we could go and refer to it by an input field however because we've specified an ID we can use a hash and then the name of the uh, particular element to actually grab a value from it so inside selectors we just want to create a variable and this is going to be called name now we're going to use the a selector here so this is a selector inside here we're going to select name but we don't want to just put name inside here we want to use a hash because we've used an ID so this is saying grab the element with the ID of name and then we want to return the value inside of that so val just is going to return this value inside of here uh, so that's not really important for now but we're just taking a look at concentrating on how we've selected this id okay so now we want to go ahead and alert that out so we want to alert name remember na name now contains the value of the uh, name field so when we refresh this we should be greeted by hello because essentially what's happened is we've taken this value from this uh, field here by its ID and then we've uh, just alerted this out to the user so now that we've selected by an ID in a field what else can we do well almost any element in HTML can be uh, have an ID attached for example paragraphing we could give a, an ID to a paragraph so text for example and some text we could then go to selectors.js and just simply change this around so this could be text, this could be text, and then we'll change this variable as well accordingly. So now we've got the uh, the value of text, let's go ahead and refresh the page. Oh no, sorry, uh, we also need to change this here. We need to grab the text from this. So uh, this essentially takes text from inside the paragraph and we're referencing the paragraph as hash text because we've called it text just here. Let's go ahead and refresh. You can see that we've got some text in an alert field. So with regards to the um, ID selector, you can give an ID to almost every element in HTML. You can give an ID to images, fields, paragraphs, spans, divs, absolutely anything. So if you're writing code inside this uh, file or inside any file in an external JavaScript file, you can use uh, this to reference each element. So this is shown uh, more commonly in an example such as an input button. So let's go ahead and create a, a button again, or for the first time, sorry, we created a text field before, and I'm going to give this a value of click me. I'm also gonna give this an ID of click underscore me. So now this is our reference point here, and inside selectors, we can actually use this to, uh, to uh, carry out a specific action when this particular button named click me has been clicked. Let's go to our browser and refresh just so we can see. We've got the button here and when we click it, for example, we want to create an alert box for the user. So we reference it by click me. So inside of our code, we can say hash click me dot click. We're creating an event handler here. So we're handling the event when click me is, uh, has been clicked. Uh, don't worry if you're not too sure about this just for now. We then go ahead and create a function here with the parentheses, the uh, curly parentheses as well. Bring this down 
and then after here we can just write alert and hello. So we've referenced this click me button using a hash and then the click me, it should be click underscore me um, text. And then when we click, we run this line here. So we've referenced this uh, button and we've added an event to it. You'll notice that this automatically uh, eradicates the need for inline JavaScript as well. We've created everything externally by attaching this event to this button here uh, by referencing it. So let's go ahead and click that button and we get the hello dialog box um, appear on our screen. So that's essentially how we would reference, um, we would use a jQuery selector um, to select an, uh, a field or an element, sorry, by its ID.